Good day, Dr. Addix. Good day, Dr. Jules, uh, Dr. Alois, Fias, anybody else watching the video, Rafus, Cicero, Damon. Um, Dr. Addix, I think it's helpful to make a video to highlight how Notes Master works. Um, in the correspondence shared, you term them preconditions. They're not, they're not meant as preconditions. Um, Notes Master is happily engaging in this process um, with an open mind to come with something that is a, a very good solution. The, the, the nature of a program such as this, though, is that in working with Notes Master, there's certain things that come with the package. For example, how the content is authored, how it is produced, how it is shared, how it's reviewed, um, the output of the content, whether it's in a group or in a subject class. Those would normally be, for example, things to determine in, in any meeting. But given that time is of the essence, and given that we're working with Notes Master, certain elements, for example, what is an output of the program? Well, we want them all to be accessible in a Google Drive. Well, best use Google Classroom in that scenario. Um, or you want word-based scenario, best use Teams. Um, HTML online elements, well, Notes Master is very good at that. So having determined that we're using Notes Master, um, a lot of those um, elements are already determined. So the pre-considerations, as termed, are just part of the package in, in, in some areas. So I'm going to do a little video here to just highlight um, a little bit of what was said. And I can take you through it a little bit more um, on Thursday, or Damon can take you through a little bit more on Thursday. So I've created an account, and hopefully you can log in without any issues um, via the email that um, I would have shared. So if we type CR. At, okay, so just can't even write it here, nothing too major. Um, and the password just C A R L E N G O 2. Okay, so this is um, a little password here. And when you log in, um, ordinarily you'll see onboarding and, and, and so forth. What we mean in terms of outputs and, 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 and such and how the program works. I'm just going to give a, a brief explanation. So to start with, we have classes. The outputs of the program, so when it says OECS class or this class or OECS primary class, the outputs of the program will be accessible in open classes. Okay. So this is an example of an open class. It's from the Ministry of Education, Trinidad and Tobago program. We know they're one of those that have started. Um, 684 members, it's English language. The content before it gets to a class for everybody to access open, free, click on it, join it. The content are authored in groups. So here is a selection um, of groups from different programs throughout the ages. <clears throat> the content is authored privately in your notepad. Then it is shared with the group. And there it is reviewed. So within Notes Master, if I go to my notepad here, you see I have um, an area that I can create content and then that I can share my content. If I, for example, am in a uh, class or, or a group, I can share content from my notepad to the class and to the group. When it is shared to the group, it is submitted for peer review. And when in that group, if say we use Trinidad as an example here, when in that group, um, persons can leave comments if they choose. But here we have the number of notes created so far in this group, 2,467. <clears throat> Select subject, and here we go. The syllabus will appear as you select the different subjects and, 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 and so on. So if, say, I click Form 2 Spanish, um, I just click through this here, um, and this is from the teacher, authored last year, Mi Rutina Diaria. If I click on this here, the note appears in the group area, okay? So it opens up here. Here's the example of the note. Um, now, audio is added. So we work with the teachers to show them how to use software, in this case, Audacity. If I click on it here, 
Okay, let me just turn it right up for you to be able to hear it. Okay. Okay. So this note is created and cartoon and captions. This is using Pixton, so we support and sponsor the software so the writers in the program know how to create these little cartoon animations. Here we go, just scrolling down. More audio here and more cartoons. Okay, so this content is then reviewed by the respective curriculum officer. A little game here, you need to click on something, move next, and so on, and then more writing. Okay, so when finished, the content is then reviewed by the respective curriculum officers and pushed to the classes. If I click on classes, in this case it's an English language arts class and in this case this is for um, the new program we see here so just click through the syllabus opens up and the notes are shown okay so you have the form you have the topic and then under the topic you have the the respective objectives here so if I just click on one here similes okay Posters are created, so some of them are created using. Um, if I my monitor here is a bit small, so if I can zoom out, if I give you a bit of there you go, um, and so on, and then a little bit of interactivity here. So this mango is as sweet as ice cream. Um, I can type, usually given an introduction here. Choose the best word to create a simile. So if I just, just type yes, see what happens. Oh, incorrect. Ice cream. Um, so, and it moves to the next one. So again, software sponsored by the program, but um, or particularly by Notesmaster, but it, it, it is, they're then trained in how to use this software. So this content um, is then referenced clearly here, and it's Creative Commons share alike. So whilst you are Carleen, and your reviewer, if you are a teacher, you have the option to copy this content. So if you click copy, it says yes. Okay, I've copied it. So mindful it's Creative Commons, this note is now by Carleen. If I come down to the bottom here, we see its original author is Miss Mohammed. Okay, but now you can edit this note yourself and if you do edit it, you now have the option here of making any changes. Could be as, as whatever you wish. And you can drag and increase your, your um, editor size, if you're, depending on the size of monitor you're using and so on. Now, you may want to clearer images, different videos, and so on. One of the things to highlight in simpler terms, though, is you can change this to anywhere. So this is an English language arts lesson. If I click on this, I can change this to maybe if I wanted to uh, OECS standard. And I can select language arts here. And I can select the syllabus, the respective one, when, once it's all ordered together. And I can click any of these different topics. And I can click an objective just to highlight. So I've changed the destination of this content. Okay. So I can find something from Trinidad and I can make it um, shareable to something in the OECS standards. So that's a lot of what has happened with the Dominican program. So that resource of content on Notesmaster enables them to now make a change and reversion. Maybe they want to just delete all of that um, and share it to one of their syllabuses. So the classes scenario, <clears throat> let me just jump back here. The intention with the classes is it's an output of the program. Okay, so informal letters, if I just click through the curriculum here, here's a note on informal letters. Okay, typing away, beavering away, and so on. Try to make them as eye catching as we can, try to support the teachers in doing that. If anything is broken, we review, and that's the, the work of Notesmart. So this video needs to be added again so that it can play and work properly. And Here's some letters, and here's another interactive game, and so on. 
Okay, and again, we need to make sure, ignore that, we need to make sure it's clearly referenced. Okay, so those are some of the things that, that we would do as instructional designers. So the content is authored in the notepad. Once authored in the notepad, it is shared and submitted for peer review. Once in peer review, the, the participants then uh, have their content reviewed by the respective Ministry of Education lead the curriculum officers. Each subject has a reviewer. So a curriculum officer may work with um, one curriculum officer for English and three writers. So they'll share their content and the curriculum officer will review the content, leave feedback and add their approval. So approvals are set by Notesmaster in the admin area. So each subject has a peer review level of approval and we determine that by the participants in the program. So economics, if I click on economics, you see it has a peer review of four. That means that the program needs four approvals before the content can be published to the library area. And when it's in the library, it's accessible to everyone. So the library is currently under construction. It will be ready next month for Notesmaster and the OECS hub. The Notesmaster library being the engine for everything, has the has the peer review system. Okay, this is what we talk about is not available on the OECS Learning Hub. So all content has to be authored on Notesmaster, shared for peer review where they can leave their comments, and then pushed either to the class as an output, or it remains in the group. So different programs operate differently. So in Malawi, if I just jump in here in Malawi, they brought everyone together. They authored over 5,000 resources. Uh, if I just jump to maths perhaps here. Number systems, number systems, just clicking on the first one here. Um, what do we have here? Click on the next one so you can see here and the third one. Okay, so all content authored lives in the group. Draw a positive number line using a set standard here. Um, so you have instructional design elements observed, chunking, nothing is too bright, no ADHD issues, remember referencing. And again, anyone now in the Caribbean, whilst this is a program from the Ministry of Education in Malawi, they can copy this note, edit it and share it to their class. So the reversioning element is not limited just to the Caribbean, because this note on number lines authored by Mary Chagua. If I copy it, yes, okay, Mary Chagua changes to Carleen. So I can now share this note with everyone in my class. So these are the tools. The peer review we set based on the number of reviewers, etc. So if we have five reviewers, we would set it to um, peer review of six. So once the five reviewers have added their approval, then the final approval is from Notesmaster where we would go through, make sure all images appear, all videos appear, the links work, the instructional design elements work. So anyone reviewing content needs to work within this system. That's what we mean, that's what we basically put out to say, this is the review process. They will be guided in how to use the peer review system, how to leave their comments. The writers would then be guided in how to respond to those comments. There's also the additional element of the output. We work in groups, so you work privately, then you share your content with the group. These, these aren't necessarily <clears throat> um, things that we're forcing on anyone. That's how the platform works, that's how the program works. So subject writers working together, sharing their content with the group, it's privately reviewed in the group, and when, in this case, Belize or Malawi, or this is from Namibia, when these Namibian programs are, are ready, um, then, the content, in, it just in a similar way, um, the content is pushed out to the respective classes. So just clicking through to show you here. So this is from Mr. Joseph, um, authored last year as part of their ongoing program. And we would then ensure that these images are correct, that it's correctly attributed and so on, so that anybody can come and copy it. So again, a resource from the Ministry of Education in Namibia now is available to anyone in the Caribbean. So I hope that makes it a little clearer please log in and just have a look at the classes and see how the content is, is, is put together. Okay, any questions, please feel free to ask on Thursday.
Thanks for your time.